Anime Expo Anniversary Event Live Streams, Summer Beans, Guaranteed 5 Star Servant When, these topics and more in this episode of This Month in Fate Grand Order, your number one news source for all things that may or may not be coming up, possibly or not. On this episode of This Month in Fate Grand Order, we will be going over what is on the horizon for the month of July. As we all know, the Anime Expo Anniversary event is scheduled for July 7th. At this event, we will be getting a date on the paid gacha as well as the anniversary event. Now, it's not known at this time if we will be getting the anniversary event on the 7th, and it is possible, but at the same time, it's also possible that we will be getting the Camelot banner too, and then the anniversary event following. Now, we do have a few days for them to announce what is coming after the Ozzy banner, which ends on the 6th, but it would be odd of them to not announce that they would be dropping the in-game event at the same time. Now, some people speculate that they will drop this the morning of without warning, which honestly wouldn't surprise me, but we'll see. Speaking of the Camelot 2 banner, while this originally came after the summer event on JP, with them moving the America banners up to fall in line, this would fit with the current Singularity banner patterns that we have seen in NA so far. Assuming that they do not break from this and they give us the full week run of the Camelot 2 banner, we're looking at getting the Summerfest slash first anniversary pickup summons and GSSR on or around the 13th. Now this will run another week, putting the end of the first anniversary on the 20th, potentially. Now here's where it gets a little bit iffy. They could use the anniversary as a sort of dead week, allowing us a week to farm half AP daily quests. That's right, every daily quest will be half AP during the anniversary. They could then follow that up immediately with the summer event and banners, putting that only three weeks away. Hashtag rip wallet. Alternatively, we, we did miss a half AP burning embers week that we should have gotten with the Shisho banner. Now, some have speculated that we may get that following the anniversary. This would potentially push the summer banners out to early August. However, I don't believe that they will give us two weeks of half AP burning embers as much as I would like to be wrong on that. So in my opinion, we will go Camelot 2, Anniversary, Summer Banners. Like I said, as much as I would like a little bit more breathing room, I can see them throwing things at us in this manner just to kind of keep the pace that we have been going. So now that we've talked about the timeline a little bit, let's move into what exactly is coming from each of these. Let's start with the Camelot 2 banner. This banner is going to feature a raid up for Lancer Artoria, Gwen the Rock Johnson, and Tristan, which all of these servants are currently in the story gotcha, but who rolls the story gotcha. This is a straightforward banner with no bells and whistles or extra CEs on raid up. Next, we have the first anniversary Summerfest. And well, there's a lot of stuff here that will likely be modified as the original event introduced a few things that we already have. So it will be interesting to see what they bring to the table. It is possible that they will be announcing the increase in bonus quartz from the paid quartz bundles, which I know would make a lot of people, including myself, very happy. Additionally, during the one year anniversary event, during the live stream, players were aware awarded with 30 Saint Quartz. Really hoping that we get this for the AX stream. Additionally, as with most events like this, there was a login bonus on the first day. We'll be getting 10 million QP because, well, we haven't really had much time to farm QP, so I am sure that this will help out a lot of those QP starved masters. The second day, we are looking at 100,000 friend points that you will throw trying to get yourself an angry mango to no avail. Third day will be 10 golden XP cards, which is not that much, but it helps with the fact that we haven't really had much time to farm XP with all of the events. Fourth and fifth day, we are going to be getting 10 attack and HP foes. Sixth day, we will be getting 100 mana prisms, which I'm sure you've already bought everything in the store, so those mana prisms will just help out. And on the seventh day, you will be getting 
10 summon tickets. Please be aware that the rewards that were given out for JP may be changed. I hope not, but we never know. So as mentioned earlier, during this event, not only will all dailies be half off, but we will also have triple the rate up on great and super sucks for both servants and CEs. This coupled with the half AP burning embers is going to be a godsend for those of you who have been dying to level the servants you've been rolling. That's right, I see you Mr. One Ticket Ozzy in my comment section. Now, this also comes with a new CE, the Anniversary Heroines, and will be acquired by completing the Summerfest Celebration Quest. This CE will increase your attack and grant you crit stars per turn. This is a very solid CE and is definitely worth the pickup plus it's free you can't beat free but wait there's more the anniversary event comes with a new servant da vinci who will be a solo raid up for the first day however following that you will have a rotating singularity banner which will have da vinci plus the servants from those singularities for instance on the final day you'll have da vinci plus america singularity giving you a chance at ku alter mave and nightingale so if you are just looking for da vinci on raid up rolling on the first day is going to be your best bet because you have a better chance there will also be some new ce's coming into play leisure walk this will increase your critical star gather rate by 400 percent and increase your arts card effectiveness by 10 percent this will be great for arts based crit servants like lee shuen and nursery rhyme participation of the king this will increase buster card effectiveness by 10 percent and increase starting np gauge by 50 percent you also have goldfish scooping and fire flower goldfish scooping applies sure hit and increases your buster card effectiveness while fire flower increases not only your critical star drop rate but your critical strength as well hmm that was a lot of stuff did i miss anything Oh, that's right, the paid guaranteed five-star gotcha. You have two different bundles that you can pick from. You have the Knights and the Calvary. On the screen are all of the five-star servants that you have a chance to get. I'll wait while you take a look at that. <laughs> this can only be done with paid St. Quartz, however. So if you are going to dip your toes into the pool and start your path to being a dolphin, well, now's the time. Also, if you haven't signed up for my paid gotcha giveaway, that link is down in the description. So with that out of the way, what is next? Well, it really, really depends on the timing. We may get the summer banners this month and we may not. Like I said earlier, I can see them coming at the end of the month and these will introduce a absolute pile of new, very, very fantastic servants. And I will have videos dedicated to just the summer banner servants because there is so much to cover. And we'll go into a little bit more of what they do as we get a little bit closer. Personally, I know that if we get the 30 quarts plus the 10 tickets, everyone is going to want to immediately spend them. I think that you should wait until the summer banners. The servants are much stronger and it's definitely a better use of your quartz and your tickets. So I hope that this has helped you take a peek ahead and get an idea of what's coming up. As always, I am not Miss Cleo or a certified professional. So take this as my opinion as no one aside from Anaplex DW knows what the actual lineup is. Here's hoping that we do get two weeks of half AP and the summer banners come at the beginning of next month. That would be the most beneficial for me and for my bank account. But let me know in the comments what you think the schedule is going to look like and what you are most excited for. And I would like to take this time to thank all of the Patreons that help make this channel possible. You guys are fantastic. And as always, if you'd like to help the channel out, just make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification, drop me a like and a comment, and I will check you out next time. Peace.